hey, screw it out of me and how to rip people off. I don't know, they do have some cool stuff here to look at on Cape Town for when anybody says. That's kind of neat. That's pretty neat. That's kind of original, too. I can see that. I'll show you why I do not shop here. How about that? Let's try that. Why do I not shop here? Why? Because I metal detect. That's why. There's a good reason why. There's a very good reason why. So what do we have here? Oh, what does that say? $10? Chain. How many chains do we find metal detecting? Seriously. It has a clamp and it has a foot. Yeah, big deal, but still. This is a chain? Really? This is horrendous. <laughs> I'll show you what we have. No doubt. Let's see what else they have that I would never buy here. And let's say you don't want a leg. Let's say you want a hand. There you go. We'll give you a hand. A chain and a hand. <laughs> still, that chain gets me. The chain gets me every single year. It really does. It's how many of these have you dug up? <laughs> I know I dug up at least one. But yeah, you can actually make a handle out of it. Yeah, I do actually. I have. I did dig up a. Uh, I did dig up an axe head one time. And um, the funny part is, is that there was a ten karat gold ring underneath the axe head too. So it kind of paid for itself. But they want uh, like six or seven dollars for a plastic axe head. No, 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 no. Same with the knives. I mean, we find knives. We find knives all the time, don't we? I do. I find. I find my share of knives. But no. Oh, more shit chains. More crappy chains. Oh, $12. <laughs> we pulled these out of the ground so much it's unreal. Not even a hook. <laughs> you can't even get me to buy the hook. All right, what's going on, diggers and diggets? This is Straight Up Metal Detecting. I am Tripwire, and this is the final week for Huntoween. And, of course, it would have to rain on my day off my first day of vacation just has to rain has to be like 39 degrees so yeah i'm detecting i don't care <laughs> i'm just at that point where i don't care so it's gonna be wet it's gonna be muddy but we're gonna see if we can find stuff for my uh display that i put up every year and i we were in this woods before and i found some things here and there nothing totally incredible but all the good reason to come back right so without any further ado i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna do some metal detecting all right, we got our first sound of the day over here. It's a lower pitch sound. And as in keeping up with tradition, we always dig the first sound. Okay, our first find of the day, of course, has to be a ultra crap. It just had to be ultra crap to go with the ultra crap rain and the ultra crap temperature. <laughs> okay, our second hit today that I found is I got it out of the hole. And it's our bottle cap. Well, at least it's a Pepsi bottle cap. I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> so, we're going to keep going. All right, we got a straight up high hit. That's always interesting. I always love the high hits. Let's figure out what this is. I think this is super cool. I'm beginning to like this. We got uh, ourselves a little coin here. It's very nice. Looks like a penny. I can't tell if it's a weed or not. I'm not sure. That's kind of cool. We'll clean it up at the autopsy table, but got our first coin of the day. This is an interesting little find here. Um, not sure what the heck it is. It's a high, is it high pitch? No, it's actually a lower pitch sound. No, no. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Interesting. Kind of neat. I'm going to try to figure out what this is. All right, check this out. I just unearthed this dog tag. So that's cool. I haven't found one of these in a while. I think the guy kid dog's name is Max. <laughs> cool. Love it. All right, let's got ourselves another high pitch over here, and so hopefully it's a coin. That'd be awesome. I only found one coin so far. Well, I know it's underneath the leaves, so I don't even have to dig it. But this is what we got here. Oh, that's cool. I'm not. I'm pretty sure it's for a fence post. Oh, uh, this is kind of cool. I really like this. I think that this would be the top of the fence post, and I think, I could be wrong, this part here holds barbed wire, I think, at the top of the fence, but yeah, it's a cool little thing here, I like it. We're basically going to do a live dig here, or a semi-live dig. Uh, we got this right down in here, which seems to be right, on, right more towards the top. You know what? I have my shovel here, we got to use the other shovel. Let's see what we have, Let's see what we have. So how y'all doing? Good? Great, I hope. Again, this is like my only day out. Will you shut up? Let's see. 
I think I got it. Do I have it? No, I don't think not I don't know. Well, how deep this is. <laughs> I'll find out, right? <laughs> Even this part's blowing the crap out of me. <laughs> and what we have down here in the hole happens to be, boom, rust in peace. <laughs> so yeah, another piece of rust here. Um, yeah, kind of interesting. Not sure what, I probably won't be able to use it, but hey, got it nonetheless. All right, let's see. We got another uh, high pitch sound over here. Figure out what it is. It seems like it's on a. No, it's good. Let's see exactly what that is. And of course, we got ourselves a crappy can. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, uh, great. Okay, well, we're just going to continue on this way. The rain is actually on, off, on, off, on, off. It can't make up its mind. So, interesting. <laughs> okay, here we go. I was uh, walking over to an area I want to hit and. Got ourselves a high pitch right here by the tree. Let's figure out what it is. Okay, well, it's fairly much on top. It's kind of interesting, kind of cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, hopefully it's coin. Actually, at this point, um, the rain keeps on coming and going, coming and going. And I don't need to get sick for Halloween, so I'm going to do this hole, maybe one more, and then we're going to call it. Cool. I hate roots and rocks, and that's all I'm finding right now. Oh, it's gonna be fun. I can see it right now. Sounds good, though. I can't walk away from it, that's for sure. I'll figure out what it is. Yeah, I think I. Does anyone know how to dig good around roots? I will take any advice anybody's got, <laughs> including dynamite. Yeah, we'll try dynamite and blow the tree up. Works for me. Is that it? Man. Okay, I'm gonna get back to you on this one. Um, is that it? That is, is it? Yeah, I think that is it. I think I found it. Problem is, I can't get to it. That's gotta be it. That has to be it. I don't know how deep it goes. It's becoming a pain in the butt to get out. So, it isn't really anything super full. It's just some piece of metal that's sitting right here. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to check with that too much. It's probably just a can. Like I said, I don't need to be sick for Halloween. <laughs> so I'm going to do one more haul and then we're going to call it and we'll go to the autopsy table. Alright, we're going to end it right here. We found ourselves another one of these pieces of metal that are top of the fence of some sort. This one's been in the ground for a while. Um, this one I cannot use for the display because it's cracked here. But I think I may be able to use the other one for something. So anyhow, we're going to go to the autopsy table. All right, this is the final autopsy table for Hunt the Wind. We're going to go over everything that I found. Uh, today was the only day I got out and it sucks because we got rained out, but we did the best we could while we were out there um, Over here. This is why I don't buy stuff from stores or you know, just buy anything with spirit Halloween I mean come on we got metal detecting, you know, we find axes, you know, that looks a heck of a lot better than the axe They had the chains come on, you know, we find chains You know why go and buy them if we dig them up, you know, just if you see something cool It's like hey, that could be a cool Halloween display, you know, keep it hold it Put it up on Halloween. Like, I found this hook a while back. And this is probably one of my favorite Halloween props that I ever found, period. The only thing that sucks about uh, Spirit Halloween, they had the worst-looking barbed wire. The barbed wire was so atrocious. I wanted to show you how bad it was. I guess it's so bad they don't even carry it anymore. So, But, yeah, so I was going to put it up against my barbed wire because I love finding the barbed wire. This is also good for Halloween. You know, you just find the barbed wire that's rusted. Buy a can of silver spray paint for a couple of bucks, boom, you got yourself some barbed wire. Wrap it around the head. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, over in the rusted piece section. There's our two things that we found. I did find this gear. Um, I don't know exactly what it goes to, but uh, I may have a use for this. You know, I might just take a couple of incense sticks and put them in each one of these holes, then light them up. And that way, when kids come up to get their candy, they also get the smell, not just the sights, but the smell of something. So that's kind of neat. Uh, rust over here. Rusty bottle cap, of course. Ultra crap! Yeah. Yeah, a lot of ultra crap today. A lot of ultra crap. But again, you know, we got rained out, so I was kind of like just getting warmed up, but I also don't want to get sick either, so. Miscellaneous. 
I still don't know what that is. It's probably just a chunk of metal. I was hoping it'd be something super cool, but it's not. A couple of Pepsis, and a, we found one penny. We found one coin today. And the uh, pick of the week is that dog tag. I have to flip that over because apparently the guy's phone number's on the back. And it does say Max. I guess it belongs to Max. Okay, the YouTube pick of the week. When Halloween is all over and everything is said and done, we all come inside and we sit down in front of the television, and our tradition is to watch... Japanese death matches. For those of you that think that pro wrestling is all fake, this is going to prove you wrong. Everything in Japan, there's no, there's really no rules or anything. Plus, they beat the crap out of each other in death matches. They use like these fluorescent light tubes. Boom! That dude just got dropped on a ton of them. You cannot fake that. There's another one for you. Tons of fluorescent light tubes, razor boards, barbed wire. Uh, just about it, thumbtacks, thumbtacks by the bucket full. And when these guys are all busted open, sometimes they'll get out salt and lemon and throw that into the open person's wounds. W watching this stuff is just absolutely crazy. Uh, the big guy you see here is Abdul Kabashi. He's one of the greatest deathmatch wrestlers ever. And my favorite is Jun Kasae. I call him the god of the deathmatch. So if you want something brutal, you want something violent, you want something real, check out Japanese deathmatches on YouTube this Halloween. Boom, there we go. All right, speaking of Halloween, Hell Sent Halloween. Yes, thank you all very much for voting. The votes are in. And yes, the winner was green. Or, nope, sorry, the winner was purple. And if we're going to do purple, you got to do Jocelyn. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Relic Recoverist, uh, Jocelyn, she has this kind of similar hairstyle. She has the coolest hairstyle in metal detecting. Come on, we all know that. So a little tribute to Jocelyn. Uh, if you guys get a chance, go check out her channel, Re Re channel Relic recover us she's totally awesome and this girl knows how to have fun this dig at is out there having fun capital f all right i thank you all very much for watching sorry it was such a short hunt um i will be releasing something wednesday morning I, on halloween morning i will be showing you everything that we got that we made we'll show you the display in the day and in the night so i hope you all tune in for that and you get to see what did i use that we found metal detecting for the display all right thank you all very much do me a favor like subscribe and keep the hunt alive later